Russian President Vladimir Putin has showed off his fun side while visiting students in the Siberian city of Kurgan for the start of the school year by displaying his drawing skills. However, his views on art and the freedom of speech it should entail seem less than open-minded after authorities decided to shut down an art exhibition which featured a painting titled Travesty of Putin in lingerie accompanied by Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev in similar attire. According to the police, the satirical paintings at the show were illegal and broke unspecified laws. Police detained the director of the museum and the artist Konstantin Altunin fled to France immediately after seeing the news on television at his home some 1,500 kilometers north of the exhibit in St. Petersburg. I am shocked by these events, utterly shocked. Censorship is clearly very strong in Russia, and I was sure that this was not the case previously. I had no idea that these days there was such censorship in Russia. Sitting in a cafe in Paris, Altunin said the media had to hold Putin accountable. Much depends on journalists and the media. I wish we did not leave Putin in peace, and I would like him to be asked how he thinks the artists and the intelligentsia live in Russia these days. Really, the media have to ask whether the government is entitled to take measures against the intelligentsia or if it has to be done by the citizens. The government should really listen to the intelligentsia and wonder why some of them write such books and others paint such paintings. The exhibit closure is just another example of Russia's growing authoritarianism under President Putin during his third term in office. The upcoming mayoral election in Moscow, where opposition leader Alexei Navalny is running for the post, will be a litmus test of the country's current state of democracy. I think this is a uh, common enough motive to see this as a referendum um, or a contest between establishment and anti-establishment. And some also see it as, a, um, as an opportunity um, to send a message to the government, look, we, are, uh, we may not be a majority in Russia, but we are still 20% of the Moscow electorate. We need representation. We are a force and we claim representation. The Kremlin has allowed Navalny to campaign for mayor, expecting he would be humiliated, but he is having more impact than expected. Although he is not predicted to win, questions remain over the authorities' commitment to allowing the election results to reflect the will of the people without any interference.